Hello everyone, today we're going to see how to select things in Blender So, let's get started Subscribe now! Here I have this plane So, the first thing I'm going to do is uh, go to edit mode Press this button right here That says object mode Click it and we are going to use the edit mode So we can access to the to the vertices, edges and faces also you can press tab and it will do the same it will enter to edit mode in edit mode by default you will be able to select the vertices these uh, black dots if you want to click any one of them just left click and you will select the, the vertex you can also press shift and you will add vertices to that selection or if you also press shift over a, se a selected vertex, vertex will remove that vertex from the selection also if you want to unselect everything you can press twice the A button from the keyboard twice or you can also simple click out the mesh or out the the object and it will unselect everything if you want to select edges or faces just go here and press edges or faces and you can select edges or faces the shortcut to select um, vertices edges or faces are one for vertex selection mode two for edge selection mode and three for faces selection mode okay if you click and drag you can uh, make the or you can use the the border selection click and drag this is by default the option for the for this uh, for this window selection is right here is this button with the cursor and the and the box around it is the most the most used uh, option if you want to remove uh, vertices edges or faces but with the with the border selection you can press B first and then click middle mouse button and that will remove wherever crosses the, the window so left click at geometry in the selection and with B but middle mouse button will remove the faces or the vertices or the edges from the selection circle select the circle select you can activate it with the with the letter C from the keyboard you will see this circle around the cursor with this option enabled you can just click and will add wherever is under this circle or you can also press middle mouse button and will remove geometry from the selection if you want to orbit or pan or whatever when you are in this mode you won't be able to do it because you need to press escape this way you tell blender that you won't use the circle select anymore and now you can orbit or pan or, or zoom or whatever you you need to do to do with the with the model alt and click with alt and click you can select edge loops or a set of faces alt and click if you press in in this case this edge or this uh, horizontal edges will select um, a vertical set of faces and if you select a vertical edge will select in an horizontal set of, of polygons this can use it in in face mode or you can use it in edge mode in edge selection mode 
or in, ver or in vertex selection mode. It's the same. Also, you can press Alt and click, and, all and press Alt, Shift and click if you want to add a set of edge loops to the selection. If you want to unselect edge loops from this selection, you can um, do the same, Alt, Shift and click, and it, it will remove edge loops from the selection. How to select rings? The rings are edges that are parallel between themselves. So instead of doing this, you can just press Control Alt, Control Alt and click, Control Alt and click, and you will be able to select a, a set of edge rings. Also, you can press Control Alt Shift and click. Let's let's do it again. There we go, and you will be able to add edge rings to previous selections. How to grow and shrink selections? I will do it with face uh, mode because it's, it's more easy to see. Uh, if, you have, um, if, you, if you have already a selection, you can press Ctrl and plus from the numpad, Ctrl and plus, and that will add um, polygons, edges, vertices to the selection. And also you can press Ctrl minus and it will reduce um, uh, faces from the selection. Control, control plus, control minus, control plus, control minus. Okay, and select linked. Select linked, I will use another example. Um, I will use this this example. I have uh, this object. This is only one object. The, uh, his name is cylinder dot zero zero one. Uh, it looks like 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 it's um, <coughs> two cylinders with some things right right on the top. Uh, but it's only one object. So I'm going to enter to edit mode. And I will show you um, how the select linked works. You can access to the select linked with the letter L, move the cursor over some geometry, and press L, and that will select all the geometry that is linked that is linked to the to the edge or the face that is just below the cursor. I will do it again. For instance, here with these uh, boxes over the cylinder, these boxes over the cylinder are not connected with the with the cylinder below, as you can see. They are not connected. They are the same object, but the mesh is not connected with the cylinder. So with select linker. I can select very easy these uh, these uh, meshes, but not selecting the the cylinder, this cylinder or the other cylinder. Now, if these objects are connected, for instance, like this, here I, here is a polygon that connects this cylinder with this with this other cylinder. If I press L, it will select the two cylinders. Why? Because they are connected with with something. In this case with this with the polygon. If I remove this polygon and I press L again, it will select only this cylinder, but not the other. It's the same example than these uh, little boxes. Every every time you press L it will add um, that mesh to the selection. If you want to remove with with select linker uh, something from the selection, press Shift and L, and that will remove uh, that geometry from the selection. So L adds 
to the selection and shift L removes from the selection. Um, then I will I would like to show you the select uh, by UV island. I, th I think it's it's more it's, it's a more specific um, selection tool, but I think it's very interesting. Uh, this monkey is already uh, unwrapped. As you can see, this monkey is the Susan. Um, this is the the UV Islands. So here, when you press the L button, by default, will select everything that is connected uh, to the edge that is below the cursor. Okay. But there are some other options here in this panel. Uh, where you can select other possibilities like, for instance, UVs. So when you press UVs, it will select the island, like this. For instance, the head, it will select only uh, up to here because it ends um, the UV island. The the ear is other UV island. And the last thing I want to show you is, is the select by angle. If you have one edge selected, the select by angle will select all the edges that have the same or a similar angle. So which angle? this angle I will show you how it works so I have this this cylinder uh, if I select for instance this this edge this edge has two polygons this one and this one the angle between these two polygons is probably 90 degrees so, the angle of this edge is 90 degrees. So, if I select this edge and press Shift G, a pop up will appear and I will be able to select this option Select Similar. This is the Select Similar pop up. Select Similar Face Angles. Face Angles. So if I press face angles, it will select automatically all the edges uh, with that similar angle, that 90 degrees angle. Here, here also I can uh, increase the, the threshold if I want to uh, select more edges. And now with this selected, I can for instance, go to the mean increase option, increase the mean increase, for instance, 0.6. And now, when I activate the subdivision surface, those, uh, those borders are sharper, and I did it with the very few uh, steps, with very few steps. So these were the most useful and common uh, selection tools with Blender. I hope this could be useful. Please subscribe and like the video. See you next time.